What's up guys, today we have uh, one of the most common models that we get here for the repair. We are at the uh, powerjackrepair.org. We specialize in replacing the jacks on laptop computers. And this video is going to be about how to replace a jack. Nothing is going to be hidden, everything is going to be shown. Um, how to replace a jack on ASUS G53S. G53SW and this one in particular is A1. Now most of them are pretty much the same. G all G53S are pretty much the same. We have a couple of videos of how, of how to fix it uh, in our catalog but uh, some of them are like a couple of years old. Uh, some of them don't show some angles. So this time around we got a good camera. Uh, high resolution camera, so if you have a big screen, you could use a big screen. If you like the video, leave a like. If you're in Chicagoland, you could stop by, we can fix it for a hundred bucks total. So, or send the motherboard to us, we can we can basically uh, just uh, work on the motherboard that we can ship away. So, let me show you how to take it all apart and how to replace the jack yourself at home. Again, if you like the video, just leave a like. Uh, sometimes I get phone calls, um, and uh, and some interruptions from working clients. So here, let me take it apart. Uh, let me get the better angle. Like that. Right, so those guys are holding the back cover in place. So you have to remove the those screws anyway. One of the screws is going to be hidden right here, but you need to break the tape and uh, pull out the screw from this end. Okay? Now what you want to do, you want to flip the whole thing over, remove this cover right here, okay? You want to remove those two screws right here, again, if you don't want to do it yourself, you could again pack it up, ship it away, the total for the repair is 100 bucks, increase the labor, the parts, and the shipping back to you, so here, I'm going to go separately here. Alrighty, okay, now what you want to do is you want to open up the screen a little bit, like that, and you want to uh, put this little uh, prime bar like that in here, and try the uh, keyboard outwards, like that, and like that, so once it's out, you need to make a note which way is the up. Uh, if you're not going to make note which way is up, uh, the lights on the keyboard don't work. And it seems like somebody screwed around with this before and it seems like this cable might be the not the, the right way up. So, here. Okay, so here you want to unplug the cable by pulling on the hinge this way. And here you want to Unplug the cable by pulling the hinge this way as well, like that, okay? Alright, so now here we got, uh, you want to remove this tape right here, make sure to hold the cable in place, alright, like that, like that, pull out this cable, now you want to pull out this tape right here, remove this tape, Again, if the video is going to be helpful to you, please leave a like. Don't be greedy. I mean, we don't really have any advertisements here. Uh, breaking up the videos. So here, remove that. And now you want to unscrew this screw right here. All right. And you want to move this guy lever to the left. So lever moves to the left and unscrew everything else.
it's much easier to work on a system that nobody took apart prior to you. So No way to get this screw out because the plastic on the bottom is probably broken. So now this is not it yet. So what you want to do here, you want to lift up this cover, pull out this cable like that, and unscrew all the screws here. So here is one, two, So basically when I point my finger that means there's a screw there which we are unscrewing. So here let's remove this. Now one right here, one right here, another one right here, one more right here, right here. So now that we unscrewed everything here, what we want to do is uh, double check that. Uh -uh. Alright, seems like somebody already touched this memory chip because it doesn't sit right. I don't want to touch it yet because maybe that's the way how it's supposed to be. But right now it doesn't look well. So, anyways, here. Alright, so remove this cover. Uh, now you want to. Now you wanna give me one second. I'm almost the marker someplace. You wanna mark everything pretty much, uh, but because we do the system all day every day, it's no big deal. All right, so um, here. We want to mark about wow, three cables. So this is a black one, so we mark it straight. Uh, red one gonna be just one dot, and the white one not gonna be marked at all. So here, remove this guy, remove that guy, remove this guy. Everything's removed. All right. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna put the glasses on because there's lots of dust here. Here. All right. Pull it out and pull this guy out. All right. Like that. Two screws right here. I'm not sure what that from. Um, here. That's part of the SSD drive. Anyways, here's two screws right here. One, two. And we want to remove the uh, CD-ROM. And you, here you will see three more screws. So one, three, three. So, yeah. All right. So three screws right there. All right. And. Uh, yeah, seems like everything's out. You want to double check that all the screws are out. And uh, let's flip it over. Now you want to disconnect the three screws here and three screws here. So remove the dust first.
All right, so remove the dust. Right? Now one, two, two, and another side right here. One, two. Now what you want to do is this right here. There's one and two screws right here. So one goes out here. Second uh, cover is missing someplace. So somebody screwed around. Like that. And like that. So, yeah. Like that. Okay, so remove the... Oh, yeah. This screw This is how we remove it Let's flip it over Alright, so Seems like nobody is screwed around here No, well, hold on No, seems everything is intact here Alright, so remove these tapes Disregard all the tapes because they're not gonna stick together again. So here now, now is about time you're gonna now is about time you're gonna fire up your irons. Alright, so here remove, remove, remove. Remove this cover right here. Alrighty. Disconnect the fan. Like that. Disconnect the fan right here. Like that. And you want to remove the tape right here. Disconnect this cable right here, like that. Alright. Here you want to take it up. Like that. Okay. Alright. So remove the monitor. Once you remove the monitor, you can unscrew one, two, three, four screws. One, two, three, four. Four screws out. All right. Now. So what you want to do now is fire up the exhaust uh, because the irons are heating up and they produce toxic smells from the beep. Anyways, here we go. Uh, what you want to do here is you want to lift it up slightly and remove those cables right here. Like that. And pull it out like that. Now. Again here, lift up the motherboard a little bit like that, okay? So, and the way you open up this system is uh, you basically need to lift up from the left side like that, like that, right? Okay, so let's do it uh, like that, like 
that. And like that. You see, simple. Now is a good time to clean the dust in between the heat sinks. I mean, in the fans. Right. And right here, you see the dusty, um, the dust on the on the heat sinks. You need to remove it, otherwise the the whole temperature inside gonna be much higher, and that's what melts everything in those systems. This is the broken jack right here. You see the pin is missing altogether. So now what we need to do, we need to find another jack. Give me one minute. Hold on. Alright. We've been in business for 16 years. Today is 2016. Depends when you're watching this video. And we've done about a couple hundreds of those systems of this G53 over the years. So we got the jacks for every single system in stock. That's a new jack, exactly the same jack as inside its OEM product. Uh, the same manufacturer. Yep, so. So let me show you how to remove solder from this end. What you need to, to have is a soldering iron and plenty of time. So any soldering iron from Walmart is, is going to be just fine. So here. All right. All right. OK, so. Here, let me power up the exhaust. So, you probably don't have a gun like that at home, so let me show you how to do it with just a soldering iron like this one.
second. All right, so we removed all the solder on the bottom. Now what you want to do is uh, we want to remove the solder on the top and pretty much gently take the uh, object off of the motherboard. So, yeah. That's how you take it home. Nice and easy. You see, nothing got damaged. All the arms are in place. All the traces. So what I was saying is, nothing got damaged. All the traces are intact right here on the top. And all the traces on the bottom are still intact as well. You see, everything is peachy, everything is in really nice shape. So, yeah, and, and uh, here is the old jack. As you can see, the pin is missing. So, yeah, just disregard it. You want to clean a little bit those two slots right there and right there on the, on the left and right side. So now you're putting the new jack in. It should slide in easily. Usually. Like that. 
So once it's all in, in place That's how we do it basically, like that. And like that. So you wanna measure the voltage. Yep, it's alright. Nothing is shorting. And everything the way it's supposed to be. Yep, it's all good. So you see it takes about 27 minutes to take it apart and replace the jack. Again, because we do it all day every day. If you're in Chicago and we could stop by, we could fix it right away. Uh, if you're not local, send it in. And uh, if you like the video, just leave a like. So, yeah. And that's the reason why that uh, nut didn't come out, the screw didn't come out. Well. Well, let me show you how to put it all back together. Again, it's a really easy system to work on. So there is never any surprises here usually. Unless somebody screwed around with it before. That makes our job a bit harder, but still doable, no big deal. that, uh, connect this guy, and you want to connect the wires here, so basically the, the hard drive wire, this wire inside like that four wires uh, four screws right there so one Now what you want to do is uh, we need to connect the the uh, screen like that, like that, like that. Make sure all the wires are not in the way. So here, this wire goes in here. This wire goes in here, like that, and this wire goes right there, okay, alright, Alright, so now the goal here is to stabilize those wires so they won't be all over the place. As you can see, this wire has been jammed before by this uh, screw right here, so we need to make sure it stays out of the way 
otherwise it can cause a short so here ready okay so first of all we wanna put in Again, guys, leave a like if you like the video. If you don't want to deal with it yourself, you could send it to us. We can fix it, no big deal. Nothing special here. All right, so now what we want to have is the top cover. Like that. And like that. Okay. So here we connect this wire right here. Connect this wire. Connect. This wire. Alright. And connect this one. Right here. So two wires right here connected. You want to secure those two pieces. right here another one goes right here All right. come on All right. okay, okay. alrighty So what you want to do now is install the screen properly. Okay, make sure there is nothing in the way. Long screws go towards the front right here. The smaller screws go towards the back. you want to put in the uh, cover Well, it's probably better than all the other parts because it was taken apart first. Here we wanna 
slide the cables here and then it'll get here okay so let's screw in everything that we have here all right so let's begin all right not all of them just a few so all right now flip this guy over and put the three tiny screws into the CD-ROM slot right here basically the three slots here one two three put this guy in place screw it in place basically the CD-ROM slide it in now you want to put in the uh, two medium screws right here one right here one right here all right so what you want to do next is put in the uh, I'm not sure I, I haven't I haven't done many with this stuff in it I'm not sure how to get it in place like that like that okay those are sharp so they could cut your fingers so careful like that okay so here you got four screws here is one here is two here is three And here is four. All right. Okay, so this cable didn't go properly through the hole. So we have to kind of rotate it this way. Okay. So here is the configuration is the, uh, the one with the red dot goes in the middle. Like that. This one goes the totally white one goes in the slot number two it says two three one so right here we go with the one okay something like that make sure they're all nice and horizontal all right so looks good so you want to slide in this guy Put the cover back, flip it over, and secure some screws in place here. So we go one, two, three, and four, and five, and six. Seven and eight, and another one here. All right, here's one. And one tiny screw goes right here. Okay. Now this hole right here, you need to put a screw in here. But uh, on this laptop, the other side was broken, so you can't really. Uh, you're not supposed to do anything there. I mean, I'm not supposed to do much here. So one more screw right here. All right, now what you want to do is slide this cover here, like that, 
like that. Okay, so which way is which? Again, because somebody screwed around with it before. We got some broken parts that don't let us slide everything properly. Okay. Oh, sorry. It's slightly. Unlike this guy. Slide this guy in place. Oops, sorry. Like that, like that. Okay. All right. Wonderful. No, not here. Almost. Yeah, that that piece is broken there. So let me take it out. Of Okay, so nice and tight. Now we need to lock this guy in place. Okay, and that's the locking mechanism for this cover right here. So here we want to connect the uh, keyboard. Okay, lock this guy in place. Now Hopefully the guys who worked on it before connected it properly like that. Okay, wonderful. So here, make sure these wires are out of the way. They should be all out of the way. Like that. Okay. Looks good. Looks good. And I just, you just screw them. and that's pretty much it. Let me show you that it's all powering up and works, hopefully.
Alrighty. Now the battery is out, you connect the power supply, goes right in, let's see if it's going to power up. Alright, so right there is the ASUS and the Windows is like in, I mean, powering up, so we're all set. Thank you so much for watching, leave a like and we are at powerjackrepair.org. Thank you.